he tried to kiss her in 2006 when he was an entertainer. There's a statement from Senator Franken's office today. This allegation is categorically not true. The idea that I would claim this as my right as an entertainer is preposterous. I look forward to fully cooperating with the ongoing Ethics Committee investigation. But since he put that out today, this, starting with Kirsten Gillibrand, has really, in what seems as though it was a coordinated way among the women on the, on the Democratic side, has really taken off. Uh, Rick Tyler, we're seeing uh, really a, a firefight on this. Well, there's no doubt. And um, so, look, I, I think what we need to, to realize is that Al Franken is not going anywhere if Al Franken doesn't want to go anywhere. And you, you sort of have the same situation in Alabama. It is going to be up to the voters in Alabama whether they want to send Roy Moore, but it's also going to be up to the voters of Minnesota if Al Franken doesn't want to step aside. And, and that speaks to what does the culture tolerate. So in a lot of uh, business applications, uh, there's a process to get rid of people unless there's a criminal intent and there's a prosecution which there doesn't seem to be in either of these cases, uh, then the individual, in this case elected officials, either has to resign or the voters have to throw them out of office. What's troubling me is that the voters of Alabama would send someone like Roy Moore to U.S. House, to the U.S. Senate, and that the voters of Minnesota would would reelect out, but that's the process that we're in. I don't I don't know how to reconcile it any other way because either neither one is a criminal complaint. And Steve Bannon overnight. I want to bring that in in a moment, but first, Bannon in Alabama and attacking Mitt Romney. What many would see as a way of taking attention off of Roy Moore's, the allegations against Roy Moore. Casey Hunt on Capitol Hill was in the news conference where Senator Gillibrand and others were just speaking. Their legislation, which was the reason for the news conference being called before Senator Franken and this, this latest allegation even cropped up today, was for their legislation, bipartisan legislation and bicameral, to prevent these secret agreements. Uh, do you want to expand on that? That's right, Andrea. The, the news conference today focusing on forced arbitration clauses and uh, Gretchen Carlson of Fox News, who of course uh, spoke out in 2016 uh, about her own experience with this clause in a contract. Essentially, they say if you want to be employed here, you have to agree that in the event you have a complaint, you are forced to go to arbitration and that that arbitration has to be kept confidential. And so uh, this bill and, and uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, uh, a male senator, joining uh, on this legislation and actually calling out the Chamber of Commerce and saying to them, hey, you guys should get on board with this legislation. By the way, we just gave you a big tax cut, so maybe that's part of why you should do it. Uh, essentially, uh, as he said, this type of measure in a contract gives an employer uh, an advantage over employees, and they are pushing uh, to change that. This bill is one of several uh, that has popped up in the Congress in relation to uh, the Me Too movement and new uh, you know, attempts to uh, combat sexual harassment and assault in the workplace, both both, both broadly in, in corporate America and also here uh, in Congress itself. There's a, a bill that would address the Office of Compliance as well that Senator Gillibrand ha, has been a part of. I do think it's worth noting, Andrea, that they wanted to keep this news conference very much on that topic, but of course, uh, Senator Gillibrand here appearing publicly shortly after posting that Facebook statement saying that Senator Franken should step down. And, and she was very animated in uh, insisting that at the end of the day, there should be higher standards for public officials and that. Uh, there should be zero tolerance for this. So we're still waiting on responses from Senator Chuck Schumer and the leadership uh, and others to see if they will join in these calls. And of course, we are waiting for comments still.